Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing uh, Medieval Dynasty and we're going to be ranking all of the melee weapons in the game from 7 to 1 because I, I found 7 that I consider to be melee weapons. Now as a note, you could actually use like any tool that you use in the game. I killed a bear with a hammer once, like a wooden building hammer. It was, it was touch and go there, I almost died. But it is possible. But there are seven of them that I consider to actually be melee weapons. So those are the ones we're going to be ranking. Uh, I'm going to be using the same system as my ranged weapons video. And if you haven't seen that, I definitely recommend checking it out. But we're going to be testing it against Vicent. Uh, and so it's it's not a perfect system, but it works relatively well. Um, as a special note, I got to a certain point in the game. It was, I believe it was Unigost story number three, where you have to recruit people for the town watch. And he mentioned something about chain mail and swords. So I'm hoping at some point in the future that's going to be something that they're looking into. I'm really hoping this game is going to develop into quite the quite the project. It's going to be more than the humble little village builder that it is now. But without any further ado, let's just jump right in and start off with number seven. And so at number seven, we actually have fists, the little one hitter quitters that you're born with. And so the Vicent ranking that these have is actually 11 punches. Funny, uh, if you watch my range video, you'll know that throwing rocks are the worst weapon. And uh, I've been able to prove that fists are more effective than them. So that is where we're going to start off. All right, so we've targeted our Vicent here. So let's just get punching. Like I said, it should take 11 punches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's hard to count because you're not sure if you hit him. Ten. Eleven. Ooh, maybe I was off. There we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if one of those punches got missed, but you saw. It took eleven punches to kill a bison. Now, that may seem like a lot. Not to me. I, I don't think you could kill a real-life bison with 11 punches, or at least I don't think I could. And I'm a decently big guy. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so I've just proven that punching things is more effective than throwing rocks at them. So uh, that was number seven. Let's move on to number six. All right, and so at number six, we've got one of the first weapons that you'll ever uh, get in the game, or tools, but it can also be used as a weapon, and that is going to be the stone knife. Now, this one is pretty dang bad at uh, being a weapon. It takes nine cuts with this thing to kill a vicent, or at least that's what it took when I tested it. So let's find ourselves a vicent and test it out again. Target acquired. So let's try to count and be accurate with it. Uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six, uh, I don't think I cut him that time, seven, ooh, see it's hard to count, but uh, last time I tested it it took nine for like three different bison, so I'm going to assume that some of those times that I didn't think I hit it, I actually did, because the blood spatches do look pretty consistent, but... So we'll, we'll call that one between 7 and 9, but given that it's it's real close range and uh, it can take up to 9 to kill him, uh, we're going to keep it ranked at number 6. So that was number 6, the stone skinning knife. Let's move on to number 5. All right, and so at number 5, we have the wooden spear. And so this is a weapon that, as you probably know if you've played the game, is also a ranged weapon. But we're testing its uh, strength as a melee weapon for now. So this one's super simple. Obviously, you just carve a log and get it. So it's uh, definitely something you're probably going to find yourself using a lot during the game. Uh, it has a ranking of seven stabs. So you got to be able to uh, left click it, boom, seven times and stab your bison with it. But let's give her a test. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. See? Told you seven. Now, as you may have noticed, I broke one spear, and if you look down in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, the durability of my second spear is also is almost also entirely uh, broken. See, I broke it there with that second stab. So, the big downside of using the wooden spear as a melee weapon is that, boy, do they break fast. So, if you want to stab a vison to death, you better hope that you're pretty dang good at it. It doesn't kill you first because it takes seven stabs to kill it. 
and you better hope that you have a few of them with you. Two, two at the minimum, I would recommend three. Uh, it's much easier to kill him if you use it as a throwing weapon. But yeah, that's number five. Let's move on to number four. All right, and so at number four, we have the iron knife or iron skinning knife, which is actually uh, it's something that you don't unlock the ability to craft until pretty late in the game, usually, because it's a it's the third tier of uh, smithy before you can actually make it. So most people won't have this unless they buy it or steal it early game. Uh, this one has a ranking of four cuts, so you got four quick slashes to kill a vison with it, and that uh, that was uh, in a trial of multiple visons, so it holds relatively accurate. Uh, now let's just find our bison and test it out. Target acquired, so let's see if four cuts holds true. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. See? Four cuts. Not too bad for a little itty bitty knife. Uh, what is that sound? I hear a bison somewhere smashing something. But yeah, so that is... Number four, the iron knife. Let's move on to number three. All right, and so at number three, we have the cudgel, which is basically a club or a stick. Kind of looks like an axe handle, like modern day axe handle. But yeah, so this one actually ha also has a ranking of four hits, so it's very similar to the iron knife. I put it ahead of it for two reasons, Ma mainly two. One, you unlock it much earlier in the game, so it makes more sense than the iron knife. And two, it has increased uh, reach, so you don't necessarily have to get as close. But let's see if we can kill it in four hits like before. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if they updated it since I did all my research, because there was an update last night. So actually seven, so that'll adjust our ranking here. You're seeing an on-the-fly ranking adjustment. Uh, so that actually puts it pretty close to the wooden spear, and I actually have to put it behind the wooden spear. So that one is actually the new number six. So everything else gets bumped up. <laughs> Mind blown. But yeah, so let's move on to the number two spot. All right, so at number two, we have the Stone Spear. So this is going to be an improvement over the Wooden Spear for durability is the primary thing, but also damage. So this one actually has a rating of only three stabs to kill a Bison. So let's give her a test. Oop, we missed with the first one. One. Two. Three. So... Not too shabby. The Stone Spear is a, a decently better one than the Wooden Spear. It takes about half as many to stab it to death. Uh, also, way less to throw it to death. So, uh, that's number two. Let's move on to number one. And so it should come as no surprise that the number one best melee weapon in the game is the Iron Spear. And don't be deceived, I know it looks exactly like the uh, Stone Spear, but this one's actually an Iron Spear. So, the ranking I have for this one is two stabs. Now, it's not... Uh, a perfect system so don't be surprised if it doesn't actually work into but it usually does but we'll give her a try so we'll get one two look at that they actually got her in two see i was surprised but it, like this whole whole video recording session has been weird but to be fair there was an update between when i did all this uh research and writing down all the numbers and everything and when i'm recording it so it's entirely possible that certain weapons were nerfed or certain animals were buffed but in any case, that is the best melee weapon in the game. And the reason I really prefer spears if you're going to do melee, which honestly in this game, currently at the moment, there's no reason to do melee. I mean, it's good to have a spear just in case you get attacked by a boar or something, give it a quick stab. Uh, but I really prefer going with the spears all around just because they also double as really, really good throwing weapons. Uh, especially the iron spear. Iron Spear one shot kills most animals and other ones it's two, but it's it's super easy to use, super quick to throw, uh, and doubles really well as a melee weapon. Um, with that being said, that's all I have to say today. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, any suggestions, anything at all that you'd like to say, please do so in the comment section down below. But in any case, I hope you liked it, and uh, that's all for today, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. 
But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.